This seminar is brought to you by Triton. I'm Captain George Gods, host of Real Time Florida Sportsman. Today I want to talk to you about fuel efficiency and getting the best performance out of your boat. With fuel prices the way they are, boaters are looking to get the most miles per gallon. First and foremost, I think the easiest way to accomplish this is to limit the load on your boat. And what I mean by that is don't load your boat full of supplies that you don't use. You know, loading the boat full of coolers, full of ice that I'm not going to use, keeping the fuel, you know, topped off at 85 gallons. This Triton holds 85 gallons. If I know I'm going to be out for a day and I don't need 85 gallons, if I run at half a tank, I'm saving several hundred pounds of load. Also, you know, not running with the live wells full. If I don't have any, you know, keep the live wells empty. Um, keep your weight way down and you'll get more miles per gallon. You know, limiting the drag of the surface of the boat that's in the water is another great way to save on fuel. It's really important to keep a clean bottom, have a skeg that's not bent and not full of snags, and a properly tuned prop. A great way to tell if you're getting the most efficiency out of your boat is, you know, every now and then you need to make sure that your motor can turn up to maximum RPM. And that can be a good indication that there's something wrong with the motor or your prop is not properly tuned. So every now and then if this, you know, this Triton, this Mercury can tune up, turn up to 6200, 6300 RPM, I need to run it to that, that level to make sure I can get that out of the motor. Finally, to increase your fuel economy, we want to make sure you're running your boat properly. You are make sure you're trimming that boat out of the water and getting the most miles per gallon as you possibly can. Every motor and every boat has a sweet spot, you know, and if you have a gauge that tells you miles per gallon, you can kind of play with it and figure out where that sweet spot is on your boat. You know, trimming the boat up to where it loosens up to get just the back end of the boat in the water where you can run along efficiently and safely is the key. A lot of these motors now have superchargers and people think that you're going 30 miles an hour is more economical than going 40 miles an hour, but that's not necessarily the case. Again, find the sweet spot on the motor, find the RPM where it's most efficient. These bigger motors are pushing less weight now and sometimes, you know, a little faster is actually more efficient.